Mikel Bridges changed his jump shot mid-game versus the Celtics, and it made him go from 0-5 in the first half to 7-8 in the second half. But what exactly did he change? Well, first, let's look at how he was shooting in the first half. Let's look at his release timing. That's a three. If you notice, he's shooting the ball on the way down. Now, if you don't know about shooting a basketball, especially from a far distance, shooting the ball on the way up, or at the very least, right at the peak of your jump, is very important for a consistent shot. The best guys to show an example for this is probably Curry or Trey Young. They both shoot as they are going upward. Now, for Mikel Bridges, in the first half, he was shooting right around the later part of the peak of his shot, or on the way down. Do you guys remember this from a few seasons ago when Russ was on the Lakers? He had this exact same problem. He would constantly shoot on the way down, and this led to some of the most disgusting misses I have ever seen in my life. However, Mikel's shot has not always looked like this. If we go back to last season and watch his shot, you will see that he is shooting with way better rhythm because he is shooting on the way up. So what has changed in his shot to have this happen? Well, I think I found the answer to this question. Here in this first quarter, it's Bridges and Cornette Pause. Look at where the ball is. That thing is almost behind his head. Now, let's watch one of his previous shots from last season again. Pause. Look at the placement. Still above his head, but way further forward than his previous shot. In this picture, the ball is lined up somewhere near his eyebrow. While in this picture, the ball is lined up basically in the middle of his head. You guys are probably thinking, this is the smallest change ever. Why would that make him shoot so bad? Well, when shooting a basketball, especially from distance, the slightest change in your shot can completely obliterate your timing. And if we think about this logically, if Mikel Bridges is bringing the ball further back than he did before, that would mean that he has a longer distance to travel to his set point and from his set point to his release point. So, logically, that would mean if he is not changing the speed of his arms, then he would shoot later than normal. And again, if we look at his shot, he is shooting on the way down or later. So there are two ways that Mikel could have fixed his shot in the second half. One, he could have just sped his arms up so that his arms would match the timing of his jump. Or two, he could have stopped bringing the ball so far back in his set point so that he could release it earlier. And this is where I'm a little stuck, guys, because he definitely did one of these two things, but I can't figure out which one he did. So what I'm going to do is show you guys his shots in the second half, and I want you to comment down below which change you think he made. I'm leaning more towards him speeding up his arms, but in some clips it definitely seemed like he brought the ball a little further in front of him than normal. So I can't tell. Anyways, comment down below what you think. If you like this video, please subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Uh, thanks. Goodbye.